Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a big plan with me for the week of September 28th through October 4th. This is for one of my BFF patrons. Her name is Cindy. And she said she'd like a fall spread. So stick around to see what I do. So I have a couple of things here. I have the Squad Gold Girl Mambi Sticks, and this is the fall one. I think it's so cute. So my first idea was to take this, put these together, and put this in the middle, and then kind of cut between the girls so that one is on each side. Um, I might have to cover up this middle section, though, because these spots are not making it easy. These are pages from the Teresa Collins Big Happy Planner, in case you're wondering. Um, and then I saw, then I thought, okay, how can I make this more interesting? So I thought, wouldn't, wouldn't it be cool if I cut out leaves and place them, like, down here? So I printed out this picture of leaves, fall leaves, off the internet. And they're kind of in this, like, color um, progression. So... I thought maybe I would put them next to the girls. I don't know if they're gonna fit great, but let's try it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, is cover up the middle line, um, just because I don't think I want that showing for the ideas that I have here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so those are covered up now. So we have more of a clean slate. Um, so I'm going to punch these out in the end because I'm going to be putting other stickers down here. So I just want to make sure that I have like, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I lost my train of thought. That's what you get when you watch these videos. <laughs> I totally lost what I was saying. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take it like off the page and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to like try to split it between the two girls without like amputating much. I'm going to have to amputate, amputate like the one with the yellow jacket, her arm, but I'm going to try to avoid anything else. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that works. I'm not going to look at them. I don't know what's happening on the other side. I'm a little scared. That one looks okay. I guess that's not great. I could have cut it over a little bit, but that's okay. That's fine. Now let's cut this part off the bottom. You can get these squad goal girls at Joanne and I will put a link in the description box. These Mambi sticks are giant and they're so cute. I love them. Okay. So this is like the, like a really fun fall start already, isn't it? I know this isn't the first week of fall, but this is definitely going to be a fall spread. Um, so now the question is, what do I do with these? I may have to print separate leaves. I was really hoping I could use these, but now that I'm looking at it, first of all, there's not enough to cover the rest. And unless I just started it here, but also what happens when it gets to this point? Do I overlap that? Let me just, let me see. I'll try a couple of them. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And then I could always print another picture. I'm going to take just the green. I'm going to cut these. 
and just take like these two green leaves on this side and we'll see what the other side looks like with the rest of them. I don't know that this is gonna work out, but it never hurts to try, right? I know that Cindy had said that she likes when I do like more creative things in my planner, which is kind of why I'm doing this. Um, she said she liked when I use paint and things like that. Um, I wasn't in the mood for paint today, but paper crafting is always fun. Can't go wrong with paper crafting, right? We're all paper crafters here. And I looked through my scrapbook paper. I didn't really see anything. So that's why I just printed these off the internet. Like all I did was Google um, fall leaves and then clicked images and just a whole bunch came up, you know? So don't be afraid to like cut out pictures and put them in your planner. It's kind of like a, like back in the day when we used to cut up magazines for collage, collages and stuff like that. It's kind of like that. It's sort of the same idea. Um, except that like, I think most of us probably aren't reading magazines anymore, at least not paper magazines. I mean, maybe some of us are. I just haven't bought a magazine in a really long time and I always used to read magazines like a maniac. I loved them back in the day. I had so many subscriptions but times change. Now I get all that stuff online pretty much. It's a little bit sad, but they still do make magazines, I guess. All right, so I could put that there and then let me just cut around these to see what these would look like. Kind of fits right but then we have this issue over here i was hoping to take it all the way across um but could put something else there the problem is what am i going to do here if i did this i feel like this needs to start with a leaf instead of like i can't just start with half a leaf all right let me rethink let me look online for more pictures. Okay, so I printed out some more pictures of leaves because I didn't want them to all be connected, but I did leave some of these connected. And I'm just gonna kind of glue them to the bottom of the page and see how that looks. I'm gonna be using a Zig 2A glue pen. And the reason I'm using this is it gets into like tiny spaces, like right around the tips of these leaves and everything. And I like to use this instead of a glue stick because the glue sticks, in my opinion, tend to warp the pages a little bit. I do sometimes use glue sticks anyway, but um, for some reason these work, this works a little bit better for me. So I'm gonna use this. Let me see where I'm gonna want it. I'm just gonna place it right down here. this guy next to it. Do you hear the rain? It is raining outside. Hope my basement doesn't flood like sometimes it tends to do. Don't like that so much. Just put that there. And then we'll do this side. And I think first I'm gonna glue this like in the corner and then we'll overlap this since these are not whole leaves. Gotta do a little bit of overlapping of these. I'm probably gluing right onto my desk as well, which I tend to do once in a while. Not such a great idea, but sometimes it happens. Okay, um, like that or like, I think like this, yeah. Don't 
Don't worry, we're almost done this part and we will get to the stickers. We will get to the stickers. We always get to the stickers. Always. All right. Um, I'm gonna turn this a little bit like this, I guess. One more. Don't click off yet. There's more fun stuff coming, I promise. Okay, just usually I fast forward this like boring kind of stuff, but I didn't feel like it today. I don't feel like editing for hours, so I'm not going to. Now I know that this is getting kind of close to this middle and over here it is not. So maybe I need to overlap this a little bit more. And I also know that these are like kind of low and these are a little bit higher. So let's bring this one down lower and we'll turn it like this. I don't know. Let's cut and see where we're at here and see if I like it. Just pull it around and trim all this stuff off. So again, don't be afraid to like cut pictures to put in your planners, like do whatever you want. Like it can even be stuff out of a newspaper, like just any kind of mixed media that you want, like just stick it in. It's gonna look really, really cute. You can put tickets in here. You can put like, I was gonna do a whole video on like ephemera and the kinds of ephemera to put in your planner to make it kind of like an art journal. But I forgot all about that video until right this very second. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Okay, that looks really cute, doesn't it? I think that looks adorable. Worth the little bit of extra work I just put in to get this done. I hope that when I punch this, yeah, that's gonna go right into her face. Darn it. Let's punch it now so we can see how bad it is. Um, hopefully it won't be horrible, but let's see. right in her face <laughs> oh well we all know what it is okay it's cute anyway all right so now let's add some stickers and some washi tape I think I was looking at my washi and I saw these. I thought these went pretty well because you've got like this maroon color that kind of goes with her skirt and now goes with this leaf. So let's work that in. And then also this like mustardy color, I think will be good. So let's try both of these. Um, we can also leave the peach here because there's peach in her shirt and we might bring some more peach in so let's put this at the top i'm just i'm not going to white out what's underneath i'm just going to leave it there it's okay that there's a little peach under there but i am going to trim it let me get my exacto I'm gonna white out that notes, I think, over there. But let's put more washi tape at the top. I don't always cover like the entire top with a line, but sometimes I do. Depends on my mood. All right. So, so far, that is cute. Let's look at this mustard one. I mean, that's so cute, but we're gonna run into issues if we cover up this line and we've got, 
we're gonna have issues. And if I take washi tape to this, it's gonna look like it goes right to the white, which really is not ideal. I mean, I could just do all the way across here and leave this line peach. Let's try that. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but let me do it. I don't know, that's really heavy compared to like this up here. So I don't know how I feel about the about it yet. I um, wonder if I should have put this up here to combine it with this at the top, but I don't know. I'm kind of not liking this now that I'm looking at it. Let me try to move this up to the top and see what it would look like paired with this up here. We'll do like this side as like a test. Let's see. So let's not look at that. That's kind of cute. I also don't love that though. I don't love it. What if I moved this little scallop down to the middle instead? That's kind of good. Is that better? Okay, let me look at this one. I don't know. I feel like I like this one better than this one because this is like a thick line in the middle of the page. So I think let's switch it. Sorry, again, I'm not fast forwarding this part. So you're just gonna have to watch me. It might be a little boring. Don't click off, keep watching. Keep it up, keep watching. Don't click off. Don't do it. Ah. I'm trying to think of something interesting to say. I got nothing today. I'm tired, I'm feeling a little blah today. When you're watching this, I will have already started my little YouTube break. So I'm taking it easy the next couple weeks because I'm, I'm just a little, I don't know. I've been working my butt off. So I decided to just like prioritize a few other things in my life right now. So for a couple weeks, I'm taking a break. So you're watching this in the middle. You already know about it by now. Um, that doesn't mean the videos are stopping. That means, that means the videos are going down for a couple weeks just until I catch my breath and feel like I wanna get back to it. All right, so let's, let's leave that. I like that, okay. Um, so let me get out the fall sticker books. Hope this video isn't getting like tremendously long. I have a feeling it is. So I'll try to hurry this part up. Um, I was gonna look at the new one here. Let me see. I don't know. 
Well, there's already so many big stickers here. I don't want to do too many big ones necessarily. How about, I do like this autumn plans here. Could put that over there. Let me do that. So Cindy, this will just be a place you can jot down some ideas for your plans for the fall. You know, maybe something fun you wanna do. I know there's not a lot of fun things to do right now during COVID, but I'm just gonna cover this notes up at the top here. But um, there might be something. So this will be a place where you can jot down your plans, even if it just means you are going to be, I don't know, planting mums or like making jack-o'-lanterns, who knows? <laughs> but this is a place you can write whatever you want, okay. We definitely gonna have to have to bring some green into the spread. Also, Cindy's favorite color is green, so I want to make sure there's there's green in here. So let's keep going. We're not gonna put any more leaves in, I don't think. But we are gonna put in, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. I know there's no black in the rest of the spread, but now there will be. We'll add a couple more things in to balance it out. Also, she has like black, we have like black pants and black stockings or, no, not stockings, the boots. Why did I say stockings? Going crazy. Anyway, this will fill up the space here and I think it's cute. So we'll put this there. Now, Let's see. Oh, I could have used copper foil. Oh, well. So let me, before I put in any boxes or anything, I'm gonna use the Happy Planner Checklist stencil. I'm just gonna give her some lines. I'll give Cindy some lines so that she can write her to-do list or anything else she needs to do on them. Um, Let's see. I'm not gonna put them on every day because it's so crowded now already. So I'm gonna start here, I guess. And wait, one, two. Maybe I'll put them here, here, here. Wait, there, there. There and there or here, here, I don't know. Let's start here. I am using the Happy Planner Checklist stencil. Like I said, this is in my Amazon. No, is it in my Amazon shop? Maybe, but I also always have it linked down below. There's a link to the Happy Planner website where you can purchase it as well. Um, and if you use my affiliate links, I get a little bit of commission, so that helps me. Thank you very much. And this is a Muji .38 pen. I've discovered that this is a really good pen for lines. You just kind of have to be careful and wipe it a little in between to make sure that it doesn't get on your page. But um, yeah, I really like it. I don't know. It's like thin, but it's smooth at the same time. Like the Pentel Energel .38s are thin and they're like a little scratchy. This isn't really scratchy. So I actually really like it. This is what I'm using lately for doodling. I guess I'll just do it like this. Now these checklist stencils are made to go all the way across a classic size box. Um, these of course are big sized boxes, so they're not gonna go line to line, but I sort of like them better not going line to line. I use them in my classic sometimes and I, I like that look too, but I kind of like the look of having the space on the sides. I don't know. I just, I just like it. So don't be afraid to use that in your big planner or your classic. All right. Um, now we can play around a little bit. That was like the hard part and it's really, really cute. So let's just make it a little bit cuter. And like I said, we're going to bring in some um, 
some green. So we're gonna take maybe a couple of these green boxes, but let me make sure there's no other green boxes first. I think I used a bunch of them. What's this one say? Fall favorites. That's kind of cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Cindy, this is for your fall gratitude, the fall favorites, things that make you happy, okay? So write some of those in there. Keep track of what makes you happy. It'll start changing your life. That's my PSA of the day. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. There's that one. Add another one in there as well. Of those same boxes. I want the same one I guess that's okay to do all right now we'll add maybe a couple of small yellow and orange ones too and then maybe a couple of bigger boxes Should I layer this? I'm gonna layer that like this. Okay. Let us check out some of these bigger boxes here. I could bring in peach, but I think I'm gonna sort of try to keep the peach up here, here, and here, just sort of like as like an accent. I don't think I wanna bring in like peach in the spread. How about this? It's kind of these kind of go important. So I'm just trying to choose colors that are like in the spread already, just to like place around the page. How about note to self. want to put it there but I don't want to cover that so I'm gonna put it here okay let's see There's a big box. I don't think I have another big box though because I've used a lot of these. I mean, I have this one. I don't know. Let me see, let me put this down first. I'll just put it here. Now I need a little something yellow on this side. I feel like I want to put a box here that's like this. I bet I can't find it. I can't find one that's like that. in the new book. Are these the same colors? A little bit. Yeah, they kind of are, right? Here, we'll put this one here. I'll put this one on top of it. Okay. 
Uh, I need a little something here, maybe. Like a yellow or something. How about this one? There's a lot of yellow right here. I realize that. But... I don't think it's that's a bad thing. I think I need maybe a little orange over here to balance out this orange here. So let's find, and there was a, like a orange box. What, oh yeah. Wait, I think it was in this one. Flip, flip, flip. Here it is. Hello, pumpkin season. Let's put this up here. I think I should have brought, bought two of those fall sticker books. I'm kind of kicking myself. But I might go back on and get another one. Okay. Now there's nothing here. Maybe I need a little, a little baby something. A little baby something. What would that be? Wah. Like a little tiny quote or something. Little tiny quote, where are you? How about it's feeling like fall? That's a bit too too much orange, and I know there's nothing else on here that's like full like this except for this. But I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna let it go. I think that that's cute anyway. <laughs> ah, wait. I know. I know. Hold up. I just want to do one thing and I know what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to take this, cover up that to do and put remember so that it's going to bring in a little bit of that orange color over here. I don't know if that helped or didn't help. Also, I said I was going to do more of that black writing and I didn't, but it's too late now. There's too much on the page. So that's it's okay with me. Now I have to sign it for Cindy. Where am I going to sign it? There's like no place for me to sign it. I guess I'll sign it up here. Um, I'll just say happy fall, Cindy. Mary Ellen. Ooh, Ellen's got kind of messed up. Okay, I think that's it. I think it's so cute. I really, really like it. I think it's, it's like, I don't know, it just kind of makes me happy. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think in the comments below and stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.